all in. I'm on the wonk a bit. Let's see if I can get that straighter. Ooh. Not. <laughs> I might be on the wonk a bit today. It might be better or worse. <laughs> Morning, Christine. Sorry, I'm a minute or two late there. Washing and all that stuff having to deal with. How are we all dealing with the the wind outside? More wind due today. <laughs> uh, hi Debbie. Hi Grace. Okay, so I've hi Sue. So I've got um a couple of shows on the craft store tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. with Hi Jennifer, with new studio lights, um, card shaped dies and the DIY blocks. Um, <laughs> yeah, they are fab actually. Yeah, your grandson would probably like this one. Um, so I'll show you the DIY blocks in a moment, but we just, hi Diane, we'll show you the, the dies first. So there's only two hours um, and I, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get through during the two hours. Um, but we'd, I've got plenty of demos um, prepped, so we should be fine. So Studio Light are very well known for their kind of kinetic cards. And uh, these are quite diddy, actually. So the actual die sets measure um, six and a half inches wide at the outside edge. And then four inches this side so so you'll get um you'll get two of these side by side out of an a4 or of course you can probably get three through to the the length um so as always you've got um the outside cutting edge so you've got yeah yeah that actually cuts your your uh, card shape then you've got a score line here and a score line there and those two are score lines those two are score lines and then this kind of cuts to there and cuts to there so leaving that intact there so that it swings and then you've got for each one you've got um kind of a matte layer so if you want to put a different color card on and then you've got a top layer there for uh, your patterned papers um the exceptions are where you've got these little diddy dies here because that that area is just so small that you can't have a um another layer on there they don't come on a magnetic sheet as always i pop mine on a magnetic sheet um then with the circles here these are just really good um mats and layers for you and uh, hopefully you can see that the inside of this one has got stitch detail on there so obviously you can use those in other projects as well and the packaging is really good nowadays in that it shows you just on the top how it's supposed to sit or swing and then there's a bigger picture on the back there and you you know you can see that they've done it just in plain so there's no preconceived ideas of what you might like or not like in a card sample you've just got the the mats and layers there so that's your circle and i've done one of those uh, i've done one here so you can see that you've got your your um your folds in there and you can you can fold it to send it however you want really so you could have it like that to send it so it's going to go in a dinky little envelope so that only measures well just under four inches uh, because of the, the metal and then three and a quarter so that's that's really small to go in an envelope or you could send it in a, a bigger envelope flat um, so that's your circle one then we've got uh, this one. This is the house one. And this is the uh, one that I'm going to actually uh, demo uh, as one of the demos today. And once again, you can see you've got that outside edge here. And you've got your score lines here, here and here. In fact, I should have just shown you the blank. Where's the blanks? I've actually done blanks, which I should have shown you. So that's the circle one, as it is blank. Then the, this is the house. So you see that swings that way with your score lines down there. 
and you've got your you know it could be like a little birdhouse or you can not use those if you don't want to and again on the back it shows you what how it's intended to swing but you can swing whichever way you want <laughs> like i say i haven't done one of those we're going to do one of those uh, in a minute so this is the heart um obviously we've missed valentine's day but you can use your heart um hi jean hi caroline hi marie um you can use your heart um for you know special anniversaries anything really and once again this has got the inside of this heart and it's it's a bit of um almost like a shaker style heart it's a bit more contemporary and this one here again has got the stitch detail in the center so when you make that one to swing this is the the way the heart kind of goes here that needs a little bit of reinforcement so again it's really really quite small so, and you can send it just like so and uh, again this is quite small they're all slightly different on the width so that's just under four by four that one so that's going to go in a little four by four envelope really sweet and i have made one of these ones up um uh, this again is one of the diy blocks um this is probably one of my favorites it's it's kind of a vintage one um and some of the little elements from it and you can see here i've actually added a decorative border to it as well you can see it's just stuck at the back and that's from um janini's um mindful art collection and i had this on oh, sometime last year with your decorative borders uh, and I noticed because uh, these have been out for a, a little while in Europe and I noticed that on the studio like creative community some of the um, design team have been putting some borders on the side of their um, their uh, card shapes and I think it looks rather lovely so uh, it's nice to to add those on so um, that is actually on the show as well so there's another opportunity for you to purchase that uh so so that's the heart i think that's probably my favorite diy block that one and uh then this one here is your rectangular one and um this is more of a i suppose more of a traditional shape but it's really cool the way it kind of folds so so obviously you can have it going that way or going that way, whichever you want to. So you've got that step coming out at the front there, but then these bits go opposite and that goes down and, and, your, and your valley, that's your valley and that's your mountain. So it's, it's really a weird kind of fold to it. It doesn't necessarily fold flat for you to send it um, as in fold it up, but obviously you can just send it like that. Um, and of course, uh, it's kind of a square in the centre. And this is kind of, I think it's really kind of, um, I don't know, um, you can use it for all occasions. And uh, I really like that one. And it's it's very sturdy. I've been using the Sentiment of Yours Pure White um, card. And uh, it's, it's you know, it'll stand up. It's absolutely fine with those. And um, I've made this one here. This is, an, again, another one of the DIY blocks. There's one DIY block that I haven't shown you yet because I haven't made any samples up with it yet. Um, so um, you can see how that st stays nicely. So that's that one. So those are your three, uh, four, sorry, um, card shapes that are on the show. And I think they put them um, available as a bundle with a saving. Um, or, uh, because it's from the Netherlands, remember, it'll be extended delivery. Then your DIY blocks. Oh. Now, obviously, these are quite difficult for me to show you. <laughs> on the screen because I'm, I'm i'm kind of up the other way um but these are a4 in size uh as it says um and you get um six different sheets of what they call embellishments so your embellishments are your these kind of die cut pieces here which you can just pop out and they do obviously they're dead let i show you They've got a little, they, they have to stick with something. So they've got these little pips. So you can just trim those little pips off quite easily um, and make it nice and neat. But they, they are quicker than you cutting everything out manually. And of course you can edge with your uh, distress inks if you want to, 
or if you've got some in the studio like um, chalk inks but they pop out really easily so that's the idea of the DIY block so you've got um, you've got two of each of six different designs um, of those then you've got two sheets of kind of toppers and sentiments so you've got you've got I don't know if you can see you've got some tags on here you've got some sentiments there's some um, hexagons and circles and ovals and then you've got some strips of um of sentiments as well which obviously you can cut down smaller if you want to because obviously these weren't designed to work with the card shapes but you can absolutely use them with the card shapes um you just have to kind of think about it and obviously that's not going to go on one of the card shapes but you can use these in other act other card making and scrapbooking and journaling um projects um so just kind of think outside the box a little bit if you want to use them with the card shapes you've got two of those and then you've got these topper sheets as well so there's nine on each sheet and again these are just these are die cuts so you can just pop them out but don't forget you can take some of your dies and you can cut out can you see that you can cut out certain areas and highlight those so that could be in the center of that um of this of this shape um or, and also you can use them with the blisters which i'll show you uh, and the shaker cards in a moment so there's lots of ways that you can use them don't think that you have to use these as toppers they can absolutely be used as other things as well so you've got two of those then you've got papers in here and you've got uh, 10 different designs and two of each obviously you can see i've been at some of these um the easiest way for me to show you those and they are double sided by the way so you've got a pattern on one side and then you've got a coordinating color uh on the other side as well so that's going to fit um perfectly if you want to do your mats and layers obviously normally i don't use these i tend to uh, use others because it seems a waste of my pattern paper so the easiest way for me to show you those is to show you the back i know we're on a bit of an angle here um but it's the easy way, easiest way to show you them all so you've got those are your um die cut um elements embellishments then you've got your tags then you've got your toppers and then you've got all of your pattern papers here with the coordinating solid side on the other side so that this one is called um uh, no bev i'm not importing these um i did import some uh, stuff from studio light it did take me a while to get them it took me about three or four weeks to get them and i did get hammered with import charges so no i'm, I'm not planning to uh also i'm dealing with the space problem because remember i'm moving house as well so um yeah so uh get them from the craft store again they there will be a bundle so this one's called explore the universe okay that's that one then we've got this one which is love to create and this obviously is uh on more of um uh, a crafty kind of theme uh home office um it, it's got lots of florals in it as well um so if i show you the back of this oh there's a bit of, bit of magnetic sheet there i don't know why there's a bit of magnetic sheet there <laughs> get everywhere <laughs> um so i'll show you the back here um so um i will show you th those a little bit more closely but uh, you can see that you've got this one here which i rather like um, and I have used uh, one of the Tall Slim um, edger dies from the, the Tall Slim planners and I've cut myself a page out there and I do have this in my in my shop. This is one of the, the items that I did import. I uh, haven't done anything with it yet but I know that I've got um, some photographs of when Catherine was quite young and she was using one of those I think it's little tykes uh, easel thing uh, and she was painting and she was in such a mess and I think that would be nice on here with obviously some of the embellishments from this DIY block um so yeah think think about using these for lots of different um um projects uh so yeah so again you've got your double sided papers uh, in here 
let's just give it a proper flick, quick thick flick because it's actually much nicer it's, it's kind of almost like a ditzy kind of style here with your you know your frappuccinos and i don't know why plasters are in there <laughs> um we've got rainbows this is i mean this just is just absolutely beautiful and i have got a demo planned with that one for tomorrow uh yes jennifer i'm going to move down to hampshire on uh hopefully in gosport um yeah buying and selling houses hmm my mum's house we've had a buyer lost a buyer had another buyer he, they pulled out and we had four people around yesterday i don't know what's happened yet but i found a bungalow i really love so uh <sighs> I'll probably lose it but hey ho so obviously this is home office kind of feel to it you can see where I've been at this um this one's quite quite not oh not that one I'll find it in a minute uh so I've put all mine all over the place that one I quite like with the palms in it but look at that funky background to it and again you've got your your beautiful um coordinating uh pieces on the back and again you've got all your toppers in there and your sheets and your elements um, like I say, it's a mix of florals and home office, but quite feminine rather than masculine. Having said that, though, of course, you've got these kind of things here. I mean, girl boss, obviously girl, but, you know, some of them could be used um, for a masculine card as well. I mean, this telephone is quite masculine. Um, so that's that one. That's love to create. I know we're t <laughs> taking uh, quite a while, but there's quite a lot to show you. Yeah, it's a little bit, um, it's, oh, yeah, it's a bungalow. It'd be fine. I'm sure it'd be fine. Thank you, Diane. Okay, so this one I think is going to be uber popular. This is wild and free. So when you took, you're thinking about um, uh, safari, you've got that sort of feel to it. Uh, I have got some, uh, I haven't got any samples that I've made with this, but I have planned some demos with this because I, I know this is going to be quite popular. Um, and again, we've got, um, you can see we've got um, the, the, the die cut sheets and we've got lovely pattern papers to go with this as well. I'll give you a quick flick. Um, obviously, we're going greens and browns with this one. Look at him. He's just magnificent. Um, but again, you could just highlight that area if you wanted to. You know, think of all your dies that you've got. Uh, not ne not necessarily just the card shapes because obviously that won't actually fit in because they're smaller card shapes. Look at that. That's so funky, isn't it? Great for your masculine makes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can't beat animals, can you, for something different for men? Uh, the uh, leopard there. <sighs> Mr. Giraffe. Uh, the lovely zebra. And then you've got your, your toppers. Again, think about using them uh, uh, parts of them you've got your sentiments again and your tags uh, and then all of your pop out uh, embellishment sheets as well oh, that's one of the background papers i've been using see i put them in it all over the place so that's that one absolutely love that one and then this one's probably my favorite vintage tre treasures i think i just like the color palette of it because it is your browns um in here um and and kind of really vintage photographs um so let's not bother with that side because it's hard for you to see because it's so small you can see i've been at this one i really like this one it's like you know crumpled up paper um i just i just absolutely adore that one uh this one as as on the background on the back which is the planar paper has got like little dots on it so some of them aren't completely plain on the back a uh, great base to work on you know you could think about stamping some of the sentimental yours background stamps onto here as well and adding those on that would they would look really cool um you you kind of draw units uh of the balloon up there um splats we all love a splat don't we? you see the back of this one is uh, striped so then like i say they're not all plain that one's not plain either it's got a, like a watermark to it i really like this one see i've been at that one and then you've got your motorbike on there again great for your masculine makes wonderful palette on here again you've got your topper sheets and your um sentiments and tags and then you've got all of these embellishments you know the old photographs from this the, the cinema uh you know 
absolutely wonderful, wonderful. But you've got things like borders and you've got um, uh, hat boxes and you've got sentiments on here um, and you've got um, bulldog clips, old cassettes. They, they look a little bit too new to go in here really, but um, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, set of DIY blocks there. Okay, so, so that's them. And then we've also, uh, I won't show you the blisters until we do the blister demonstration. Let's crack on and actually do something for you. Now, what have I put, put my packs? My packs are up here. Right, so as I promised, we're going to do uh, one of the little house swing cards here. And it is, it, it's these card shapes, and, and if you're using them with the DIY blocks, then you, you're doing some clean crafting here. Obviously, you can get your stencils out and you can you, you can um, uh, stencil your background. You can flick paint all over it. You can do all sorts of things. But obviously, I'm using the products I've been given on the shows um, just to, to make something up quite quickly and simply. Let's take all my little bits and pieces here. Try not to lose anything. I was thinking to myself, what's that there? What's that there? But that is one of the little dies. <laughs> right, let's get my actual... Um... So you've got that little die there. So if you were doing like a birdhouse, you, you'd, you'd cut that one probably. So let's take all these bits and pieces out. So obviously I'm using that Vintage Treasures DIY block. And I've already stuck this little tiny piece on because... This little die here, you know, sods law is I'm going to lose that one. So I've stuck that one on already. And uh, I'm using, um, I'm actually using one of the um, papers, which I said I don't normally do. This is actually one of the papers rather than cardstock uh, from the um, DIY blocks, just to show that they do coordinate beautifully. Uh, I, I have used Chocolate Bliss from um, Sentiment to Yours together with it, um, and that's worked quite nicely. So let's grab a, oh, let's grab a school board. So I like to reinforce, I use them, I normally use my hoogie, but my hoogie's a bit big. I like to reinforce my uh, score lines. So you can see, even though it's very dark in here, because I think we're heading for some more rain, we can run an embossing tool just down to there, just to reinforce it. It, it gives your card a chance, a better chance to fold without making a mess. And then we're going to go for that one down there. And I think there's one there. Yeah. There is now anyway. It's very dark. <laughs> All of Tim Holt's stuff would go well with anything, actually. Anything at all. Do you, do you mean all his uh, kind of um, uh, his tapes and all of his um, findings and things, Jennifer? Yeah. So that there's my swing. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so obviously now we're going to glue together and I tend to actually glue my pieces together separately so that um, before they go on there, just so I know that they're all together. So these are my embellishments I'm going to use that I've popped out and I've trimmed them nice and neatly. So let's just put, obviously we're using pattern paper. Get my glue. I'm using the Studio Light Glue. Nice tacky glue. I think the, the once again they've, they've put the mediums on as a pick and mix. Where's my tweezers? I find it easier to line them up with my tweezers. My sentiment to yours tweezers. And the tacky glue does give you a chance to kind of move it and get it straight. So that's that one. So obviously from the paper, this is actually from one of the toppers as, as opposed to the paper, I believe. I'm sure it is. Um, and then, because it's a smaller uh, flower and, and, you know, you can get that smaller piece 
and cut that out like so. And we'll pop that on there. And while we're at it, we'll add a little bit of glue to this piece here, which is the circle. You could obviously, if you wanted to, cut the circle into it. So rather than having the, the circle on top, you could have a hole in this and look into the background. So that's an option. The I mean, the, the quantity of stuff that you get in these DIY blocks is just tremendous. You know, I've still got the ones from uh, that we did at Christmas. And, uh, you know, there's still loads left in those. That's going up there like so. So we get the full experience. Let's put this little dot in as well. Probably regret it. I'll probably lose it immediately. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> so let's take my... My pickup tool. Oh, I've got one there already. These are very handy. These uh, sentiment of yours pickup tools. When you've got just a tiny little thing that you want to do, it's really handy. I have a little bit of glue on there. In fact, I could have just put it on here. Let's put the glue on here where we want it. It's easier. I have it there. Pick up that dot. Remember, don't push down with your um, pickup tool because you'll flatten it. Okay, so there's our little dot. I don't really know the, what the dot's for, but obviously a birdie would st sit on it, wouldn't it? Maybe. I don't know. And then you can see on the papers I've used this uh, lovely border and it looks like I've matted and layered something extra. So I'm not looking at your comments at the moment, sorry. I will in a moment. Yeah, the metal clips, yeah. I've, yeah, I've, done, I've got bits and pieces lying around somewhere. I'm slowly discovering things in my craft room as I'm trying to clear out. Do go on my website and have a look at the pre-love section because there's loads in there. I've just photographed some more of stuff. And then there's loads in the garage that I still haven't even touched yet from when I had my shop. Right, so that's all my pieces all kind of stuck down. And now we're going to pop these onto our card blank. This is the, this is how easy it is. It's just lick and stick. Um, which sometimes you need that, you know. You just need something kind of that you don't have to think about too much. Obviously, it's up to you to kind of... Um, use your, your creativity when you put your embellishments on let's just get rid of a little bit of that glue you could add other die cuts to it as well we will add a little decorative border on the side I think to make this look prettier okay I'm hoping that's straightish everything's ish That seems a shame, doesn't it? That balloon, what a waste. Yeah, don't do that. Use some chocolate bliss instead. But you know, if you don't if you don't have loads of cardstock or if you're just starting out, then it does mean that you've got your mats and your layers within the DIY block. That's gonna go in a layout like so. And we've got this little bit that's stuck together beforehand. Don't want to lose your little bits. Try and try and line them up so that on the, they're, they're kind of straight on the top if you can, as best you can. And then we put this one on as well. I don't know, they can still come up with loads of different ideas for these. I've got quite a few now. One of these days I'll have a proper play with them all. When I have time. What's that? This 
since obviously this is going to go down there like so. Extra glue there. Get rid of that. Okay, so there's our blank. Looks pretty already, doesn't it? Really pretty. Then I'm thinking we're going to have a home sweet home up there. These are all from the uh, embellishment um, area and with love down there. So obviously a new home card this is perfect for. Let's have that just up there like so. Obviously you can add inks to these, so if you wanted it to be pink, you can add pink ink over where it's plain, where it's this colour. You can definitely change them up, they definitely take inks. And you can stamp onto them as well, you know, use some of your background stamps or script stamps and uh, add, add, add something a little bit more interesting to them. But like I say, I'm just using what's on the shows, I'm trying to be good and not go off piste. So let's pop enjoy there, like so. And I've got a rose I can pop on there. And we can have a little bit of ribbon, maybe that way up. Yeah, let's have that. So I've not used very, very much from the DIY block here used very few embellishments so we've used one two five embellishments that's all and I've used part of one of the papers so you can imagine can't you how far they're going to go I did manage to get a few tags from Studio Light within the last order that I got um, but I've only got some um, of the urban tags left and I've only got a couple of those I do got I've got match boxes and exploding boxes and I've got planner page dies as well I've got quite a few uh, dies in stock so so that's it that's that let's just see if we want to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit so with the borders the one that I used before is this one which is that one there. So I'm not going to use that one. I've got two of each already cut. Remember this is from the um, Janini's Mindful Art um, one. That's quite a nice one. So we don't want to choose something, anything too heavy. So that would work quite nicely. See how it changes it just by adding a little border on the outside. So, and I, I tend to keep them because they cut. You can see that one side cuts and one side stays in. So I do tend to keep them like that when I've got a pack of them so they don't get all intertwined. There's this one as well, which is quite nice, I quite like that. It's a bit like a wrought iron fence, that'd work. So you don't need the whole thing because these are smaller than the dies. That's the length of the die, so they're much smaller. And then we've got this one as well, which is much more intricate. So I think that's just too big for it. It's just too big. I might go for this one, actually. Obviously, this is going to make the, the card bigger when you actually send it out. But I might go for that one. I think that's quite nice. What do we think? Um, that is a good question, which I'm not going to answer at the moment. I'll still be doing YouTube channels, definitely. My YouTube, I want to build up my YouTube so that um, you can still see me. Obviously, I'm going to be quite a long way away. So, in fact, I don't need all that. Let's do this on this side first. So you put me off now. I'm going to blame you lot. <laughs> so we're going to add this over here. And let's try and line it up a little bit. So we've got, we go to that point there 
and that point there like so and you want to leave it so that the glue settles before you trim it down that's the idea okay looks a mess at the moment don't worry don't worry this is the one we want scissors Not from me, I'm in North Hampshire. Uh, from Peterborough at the moment. Um, I'm actually from Peterborough. I'm about an hour and a quarter. From the craft store, I'm about 50 minutes. So, yeah, it's quite a difference. Now, I don't need... Close my trimmer. I don't need all that there. Straightish, because obviously I've got to think about that there. So I don't want to be over that line there. We don't want to see it. Uh, it's nothing to do with the merger, Jill. I'm just moving to be closer to my daughter because that's what I want. Okay, so we're going to move that there. This is where the faffing bit, but it's it's quite it's those finishing touches that make all the difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to just leave that to, so the glue settles. So when I trim it, I don't move it and make a mess. And then we're going to go on to what we're doing next. So the other thing that we've got on the show is, uh, and you've seen these before because Lou's had these on. These are um, the, uh, the kind of shaker dies. So there's four shapes. Let's go through them all. So obviously you've got the square here. And so what you do is you cut an aperture in your card using that smaller die there. And when you cut the two together, you make a thin frame. And uh, then that will go around the blister. So we've got these kind of blisters here. These are packs of 10. One for it, uh, a shape for each. Let's show you my card and then that will be clearer. So that in the hole that you've made, you pop the blister and then these two make a frame. And so you can pop a little frame around the edge on top, which hides it. Then these little ones here will cut out, obviously, different size stars in this case. And then you can use those as your shaker. Really cool. It's, it's a card. It opens and everything. You know, I don't do it, do cards very often. So obviously this is from the um, the Out of This World um, um, DIY block. And you can see I've put some of the embellishments uh, in here and one of the chaps just waving at you. So they're really cool. Um, so that's the square. It's the only one I've made up so far. Uh, then we've also got the rectangles with the flowers. Obviously, if you've got the whole set, you can mix and match your uh, embellishments. You can add your, um, your a little bit of glitter in there or sequins. You know, you can add to them. Then you've got your oval with the hearts, and we're going to do a, an oval in a moment. And then you've got the circle, the little tiny circle with the little mini circles in there as well. They do make, actually, if you cut them, if I've got one up here, they do make a nice frame. I mean, obviously, I've cut some stamens out of here, but if you ignore the stamens, you can see that they make a really nice frame for things as well. If you think about how you're cutting them, I can't put my hands on any of the others at the moment. But anyway, I'm sure you get the idea with that. So we've got those and we've got the blisters and they are available. I think they put them as a, a die and a blister together. There might be a whole bundle, I'm, I'm not sure, but um, I really like those. <laughs> What's Jennifer laughing at? When you move, how long would it take? Uh, three and a half to four hours, I believe. 
Um, and of course, my legs are a bit dodgy still, so you know, it's all good fun, isn't it? Right, so where's the end of my tweezers? There it is. Right, so let's get a card made with the blisters and the DIY blocks. So, of course, I've got my little pack here. I'm not sure how this is going to go because this is the, obviously the one I made before was a square, and a square is easy, but I've had to go round a kind of curved edge with my um my tape so i'm not sure how this is working but we'll, we'll soon see won't we at least i can test it out on you lot rather than on the telly if i can't do it on the telly i'm going to have to rethink my demos this afternoon so i've got all my little bits and i've got a proper card that opens and everything see i'm doing this see see before i move i'm going to give all my cards to my friend at the dogs for good charity and she'll have proper cards to work with this time so she'll be very happy about that Let's put all my bits to one side. So we're using the, um, what's this one called? We are using the Let's uh, Love to Create DIY block, which is the one that's got all the kind of, um, it's the one I made this, this out of. So it, it has, it's quite arty, but then you've got your office and your coffee and your florals as well. So this is obviously one of the background papers, but I've decided that's the area that I want to have. Again, another background paper you can see, so I can use that side or I can use that side. You can see that I've decided to use that side because that's the way the, the die is folding in. What's going on on here? Let's see. <laughs> I do love Hampshire actually, Diane, yes, because I've been down a few times. I don't like the traffic. The traffic's a bit heavier around gosport than it's right man milton Keynes. milton Keynes, because it's got the grid system is really easy to negotiate and we don't often get traffic jams but they do traffic jams in a big way down down uh, down around there in portsmouth and southampton and wherever right so you can see i'm looking into that coffee pot there and i've used my inner die to cut out my oval from my background paper Right, so let's make sure I do this in the right order. Because <laughs> everything can happen here. So what I've done is I've taken my um, my oval blister and you can see I very badly put um, the, low ta the um, high tack tape around the edges and it kind of buckles up and everything because it doesn't go like going around corners and I don't like snipping off bits here, there and everywhere. Especially if I'm going to do this on the telly. So... Um, I've decided just to put a whole strip round and hope that when I pull off the end that it flattens out nicely. Where's the other bit? Oh, coming off. How many times have I been round there? <laughs> That's another thing. Once you put one piece on, you can't actually see where you've been. And so I think I must have gone round a bit twice. Right, so we can press this down now and make sure it's nice and flat. It was only riding up because of the, uh, obviously it's a plastic um, sort of carrier that it's on. All right, so get rid of that. And I am going to add a little bit of, just a little bit of glue as well. Because, um, I mean, glue kind of is generally forever, whereas tape is just a, a temporary thing. But obviously the tape is going to make sure that it's it grabs straight away for me. So it's like swings and roundabouts. Right, so now we can pop this over my blister. And it should fit in nicely. Ovals are a weird thing. They, they, they go a funny way. Hang on a sec. Let me go. I'm going to have to do this so I can see stand up I oh, know let's do it this way because <laughs> I can't see oh, yeah. well, it's not gonna work that way Julia is it because it's beveled hang on a sec get with the program I don't want to see because because I've got my tape on I've got to be quite careful that I line, line it up so that the tape isn't exposed it doesn't matter too much because I'm going to put a frame around it as well I would pick the hardest one to do, wouldn't I? There we go. We're on. That's where I'm committing to. Right. 
Then what we want to do is we want to pop our frame around. It's a little bit, it's not as neat as I'd like it, but hey ho. So this is the two dies together and that's going to go on there if I can line it up properly and that's going to kind of just make it nice and neat and tidy. So let's put our glue on there. I remember Lou doing this on the craft, so I didn't see it on Crate and Craft. But I saw it, saw her do it on, on and I know she had a, a few difficulties. It, it's like we make it look diff more difficult than it is when we're doing it live. Whereas if you sit quietly on your own and do it, then you can do it, you know, straight off, no problem. I have got an oval demonstration done for tomorrow, so... Uh, be interesting to see how I get on. Something like trying it out on you guys first. Right, so that's going to go on there. And of course, I've used glue and it's the tacky glue. I can kind of fiddle around until I'm happy. And there we go. So that's neaten that up nicely. Okay. And then that is going to go on here in a moment with that behind. But we want our shaker bits in as well. So I reckon, <laughs> let's see, let me think how I Oh, yeah, I know. I know how I did it. It's all right, don't panic. I'm trying to think about how I'd... It's been a few weeks since I actually did this. So, right. So we want to see that um, coffee cup. So I've got all my little hearts. I hope they're not too staticky. So I've got some that I've cut out of black and some that I've caught, cut out of the new silver luster card from Sentimentally Yours. And I've got all three sizes and the little ones are very diddy. You can see they're a bit staticky because it's quite static on my, my cutting plate. We might give up and not have all the little tiny ones. There we go. That'll do. Right. And, and if you kind of put them all together in the center, like so, then we want to take off our tape from here. So again, I've got to try and find where I need to be. There we go. Hopefully I've not gone around twice on this one. No, once on that one. And then we can pop this over here where we want it I can go down quite low so I'll get all my coffee cup in and then press I forgot to put glue on but hey ho we're going to glue it down anyway and now we've got our shaker it's cool isn't it you can't help but shake can you <laughs> Right, so now we're going to put this onto our backing card. And if you're worried about different layers, you can put actually put um, foam tape on. But we'll see how we go with the glue. If I don't like it, I'll fetch it off quickly and put some tape on. I think it'll be all right, though. Stuck to the glue. There we go. Okay, just like so. Happy with that. And then we'll put a bit of uh, tape on the back. And we'll put just the one millimetre tape on because it's going on a proper card. Do you remember I've told you it opens and everything? Where's my scissors? There they are. I must remember to tidy up that other card as well. Is that too far over? No, I've just about got away with that. Don't want a saggy middle, so remember to put some in the middle. There we 
है So uh, what I would recommend, because I'm, I'm not happy about how this uh, tape has bunched up, but obviously, like I say, it's, it, it takes, if you put just little um, tiny bits of, I'm talking about the red liner tape on the blister. If you put little tiny bits on, then um, it's going to be neater and it's not going to be bunched up at all. But obviously for speed, it's easier for me to do it this way. So this is going to go, have I got my right? Yeah, I'm right. This is a trouble with cards. You have to make sure you you're on the right opening side okay straight okay like that and then to embellish it obviously we're going to use some embellishments from the um from the the, the kit so i thought we'd put that there obviously i've got the blister going on there so what we can do is take my tape in fact i'll probably need a two millimeter have i got some open yes so we can pop some of the two millimeter tape and we'll pop a tiny bit of I don't know if glue will do it actually so where's my red liner Take a little bit of red liner when I find the end. Because obviously I can't put tape on the end. I'm thinking about this clapperboard bit. So dark in here, and then this can go just down there, like so. Didn't go right down or far enough. Blip. <laughs> Let's put glue on anyway. Let's see if it will stick. It won't stick. I'll sort that out in a minute. Right, so. Then we've got one of the, you know, the banner things. So we can have, we could have a little bit up the top. If you can dream it, you can do it. Let's have it like that. Should we do it on tape? No, I've got to trim it down. Oh, oh, I could just about get it on there, I think. Let's see. Let's try it. I don't want to have to trim it down. I'm being lazy. If you can dream it, you can do it. So this is just one of the sentiment um, strips from the DIY block. And I've just cut it into two and then popped it onto some black card. And then we've got a couple of little, little roses. I only need one, don't I? I don't know why I thought I could do. I thought I think I thought I was going to do it like that, but I think I just have the one. So if you want to make it a little bit prettier, you can add the roses on there. And let's put that on a bit of tape as well, just because we can. Once again, not use many elements from that. That's bugging me, that is. <laughs> you know when things bug you? That. Let's see if I can get that stuck. I hate it when things don't stick. I haven't actually trimmed it down either. Oh. Let's cut that off there so it's nice and neat. This will end, end, mean, mean I'll bend it and then it still won't fit. You know when you have those days, this is one. Come on, off you come, off you come. It's going there, that's where it's going. Okay, so it's not flapping all around the place. So there we are, there's our shaker card. Cool, isn't it? 
Right, so let's take a card. Let's finish off this other one, trim it down so it looks right, and then we'll be done. What did I do with it? There it is. So because I don't trust myself, I'm going to go for my trimmer. Usually, I do, if, for the little one, I did it by hand. But this one I'm going to trim because it's got a straight edge. I'm going to try and trim it on my trimmer so I can feel where the edge is of the card. And I can butt that right the way up to the edge. I'm only going to do one at a time. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed because there's nothing worse than messing it up. And this one's going to go that way. Obviously, we're not looking at the back of the card and how untidy it is at the back of the card. Okay. And then we do this one. Let's do the back first. I've had this trimmer for years and years. It's an X-Cut one. Oh, I didn't quite do that right. And it really is the best one that I've ever had. Not bothered about any 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 of the other ones aren't as good. I'll tidy that up in a sec. I've got a smaller one as well, but I prefer my big one. What's happened there? Am I not in the right place? There we go. Right, so I've just got a tiny bit there. Where's my other scissors? And it's not quite right, I'm not quite happy with. I'm gonna do that bit by hand. There we go. So there we go, so, so now it's really pretty with the extra little bits on it. Just as an idea, obviously you can just leave it as it is but it just extends it and makes it pretty. So there is that possibility to add a border to it. You can add any of your border dies to it that you've got. Sentimental yours would work as well, but obviously these are beautiful and ornate. So there we are. There's our two projects from today, just in an hour, which isn't too bad seeing as um, I took a long time going through things with you. Um, so don't forget the shows are on the craft store uh tomorrow at three and seven and um <laughs> what's going on here i'm just reading your messages well our queen's got covid oh no oh oh well let's hope she recovers she'd have been triple jabbed anyway so let's hope she only has uh mild symptoms yes yeah, so anyway i hope you can join me tomorrow on the craft store at three and seven for studio light and um next week is a big weekend as far as sentimental yours are concerned it's um the um third birthday um uh, weekend so uh, i will be doing a facebook live here at 11 a.m on friday which is ahead of phil's one day special that starts at 6 p.m on friday night and then on saturday i'll be doing another facebook live um which will be different using some of the products that will be in the one day special that phil will be launching at 6 p.m that night um and then i'll be taking over from that one day special on saturday night and doing the hours are going to be different um i'm going to be doing the 9 p.m and then the next day, it's going to be t uh, on Sunday, uh, the one day special hours are going to be 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. So so watch out for the hours. We'll share the schedule, um, certainly uh, during my Facebook Live on Friday. So, um, yeah, Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. Both days I'll be doing Facebook Lives. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And thank you very much for joining me. And I'll pop this onto my YouTube channel later on. Please go on there and subscribe if you're not already and uh, that would be wonderful. So I will see you on the telly box. Bye.